Hey, Cinemark fans, I'm here chatting with the cast of the film that's going to make you say, I want to dance with somebody. Oh. Whitney's back in our lives and on the big screen, thanks to you, Naomi, and your incredible portrayal. I want you to walk us through all of the emotions you had stepping into these iconic shoes. Oh, man, a lot of joy and then a lot of fear. <laughs> and I think that was that was um, probably my whole experience really encapsulated into two words. Um, it was an incredible journey um, and it and it has, you know, in a way, like I've spent two years kind of preparing for this moment now. And um, I'm so glad that people can see it very soon. I consider Whitney one of the greatest of all time. I'm sure it's not even up for debate at this point. But <laughs> for you, what are some of the qualities that, that make her this legend? She was a pioneer, you know, I think that she stepped on ground that hadn't been stepped on before, um, at least not in contemporary history. <clears throat> um, and she kind of forged the way, she forged a path for um, musical artists to express themselves in genres that weren't necessarily um, prescribed to them. We owe a lot to her mom, Sissy. I mean, she taught her and trained her really, really well. What a beautiful mentor to have so close to you, right? And I think we just should, her, she was very ambitious. She knew what she wanted. She knew she wanted a music, a, a career in the music industry. She wanted to be like her mom. And I think to see her go from that idea to the execution of becoming a legacy was really, really um, beautiful to see. Also, she loved very deeply, no matter who she was in love with, whether it was her daughter, whether it was her husband or Robin, her fans or Clive, she loved very deeply. And also uh, there was strength in her doing things on her own terms that I was always inspired by. My dream, sing what I wanna sing, be how I wanna be. I say a prayer with every heartbeat. Reach as big an audience as I can. A uh, common criticism of you, your music isn't black enough. Look, I don't know how to sing black and I don't know how to sing white either. I know how to sing. Woo! You play Robin, who had such a unique and crucial relationship with Whitney. What was the experience like for you to create that relationship with both Naomi and I guess in a way with Whitney? Yeah, it was very beautiful and a divine, I felt like spiritual encounter. I would look over at Naomi on set and I would see Whitney and I would like really appreciate how much she was embodying her and she tapped into the spirit, into the essence of her. Um, and then for playing Robin, it was one of the most important people in her life. Uh, one of the people who she loved really dear in her life. And I was just happy that we were telling the story of their love life, which we hadn't seen before because we've seen Whitney movies, right? But we haven't seen this one. This is the one that we deserve. Uh, this is the one um, that we've been waiting for. And I was just really honored and I felt blessed to be a vessel. And as a fan, I would catch myself on set getting so emotional watching these moments that I, you know, could only see from TV as a kid. And now I'm here like in person doing our our version of recreating it. And it was just really beautiful. One of the highlights of my career, for sure. There have been so many pitches and iterations to make a movie, another movie about Whitney Houston. But what was it about this story that really drew you in? In honesty, it was the fact that it was being made in cooperation with the estate um, and Clive Davis, and therefore we'd have access to the music and these performances, you know. Um, being able to recreate these performances and kind of get inside of them, that was something that was tremendously appealing to me. And also the opportunity to show Whitney not only as this musical icon, but also as a woman, um, that was very important to me because I knew her and um, I got to meet her and I got to see the woman behind um, behind kind of kind of um, the icon. And so, uh, yeah, it was great. It was this great opportunity to have to have the person and the music. You know, uh, mm. it, it was um, a great challenge, but I really embraced it. Folks, do not miss this movie. Whitney fans have been waiting for this their whole lives. Make sure to see it on the big screen by getting your tickets at cinemark.com. I might have just heard the greatest voice of her generation.